Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a nofollow attribute to links in the main navigation of your WordPress site. What does the nofollow attribute do? Well, theoretically, it stops search engines like Google from attributing link power to pages that are linked to via a nofollow. So if you add a nofollow attribute and you link out to a website, you're not passing any of your link juice, as it's called, to that website. At least that's how the theory goes. Google is kind of vague on whether or not that's true, but that's what a lot of people believe. And a lot of people SEO their websites based on that. On the same token, inside of your main navigation menu, you may link to some pages that you don't necessarily want to pass link power to. For example, if you link to the privacy policy page or the contact us page or the about us page in the main navigation, you may not want those to actually have any link power transferred to them so you add the nofollow attribute. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add that attribute and you can add it to whichever pages you like. Usually for SEO practices, if you, if you follow the nofollow doctrine, the best thing to do is to apply it to pages that you don't want to rank. So the first thing you have to do is log into your WordPress dashboard, hover over appearance and then click on menus. And then inside the screen options tab at the top, you want to ch check the link relationship XFN option. Close the link options and what that does is it adds this field called link relationship. And what you do is this is where you add the attribute. Now what the, the actual tag in a link to for a nofollow attribute is called REL and then you have equals and then quotation marks and inside of the quotation marks is the command for the search engines. So REL stands for relationship, and the relationship we want in this case is nofollow. So all we do is type in nofollow in this field, click on Save Menu, and now when we go to the front page or to the main site and we check out the navigation menu, we will see that the About Us link has a nofollow attribute associated with it. First, I'll show you the home and you will see there's no nofollow. So all we have is the link. We have href for the actual URL, and that's all we have for that link. Now, if we inspect the About Us link, we see it has the regular href, just like every other link does, and then it has rel equals nofollow. So if you're following the nofollow, it's kind of funny, if you're following the nofollow doctrine for SEO, that is how you add a nofollow link to your main navigation menu in WordPress. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.